Well, my experience here is, um, it's been fantastic actually, because it, uh, there was a lot of resistance coming in here because of some things that are happening in my life at the moment. And Rob has this way of unraveling your, um, your inner world so that you can see it more consciously. So it's moving the subconscious into our consciousness, which is exactly what's happened for me. And I won't lie, that's, um, uh, there's some resistance there at the start, but it unravels as the day, days go on and it becomes a very enlightening experience. Well worth it. Yeah, I, I mean, I loved the, loved the weekend. Uh, I think one of the things that I lo loved about it was the uh, seeming diversity and differences at the start of the workshop and then just the level of intimacy and connection and relaxation and, and sameness, you know, oneness with everyone. You know, we all became very apparent that we're all so different but so the same. You know. The Enneagram in general has really just helped me to understand me, why I do what I do, also to, to understand other people and their behaviour, but but why why are they why am I being triggered by that? And um, to to further explore that in me, what what is my fear? So one of the things I've discovered in this particular module three is the hero's journey, and the hero's journey is all about. Uh, facing those obstacles and getting through those guardians to try to protect you and keep you safe. Getting through that to the other side where you face those feelings, you face those parts of you that you don't want to and in this place it's so safe to do that and we're doing it with each other which really helps you can see it in the other, what you see in yourself. And I'm walking away today after three days, two and a half days of feeling a sense of clarity and potential to move for the future and to smile to the future and have that kind of sense of the gift. I'm walking away with the golden fleece, which is the gift. And to me, that is the hero's journey of our life. Well, I mean, I'm a type six, so I like to keep my world stable and secure. And it's been anything but lately. So I think the work for a six is to allow the world to not be so stable, to allow my inner world to not be so secure and to step into the act of not knowing and I think that's one of the key tenets that Rob brings to this process is to allow each type to step into their basic fear and for me that is not knowing and so that's been a fantastic experience in knowing that I can cope in a world where I actually don't know what's going to happen next and there's an enriching experience in that because I get to live it more authentically which is what this process is all about. The number one is known as the, the perfectionist or the reformer. So it's actually, I guess we're constantly seeing how things can be improved and um, in ourselves and in others. I think one of the key things for me that I've really had to let go of is the, the critic. And that's, that's not so much the critic of other people, it's actually the critic of me. And that voice in my head that, yeah, constantly, you know, have I said that right? Or um, that's a big thing for me to speak to you today because I'll be critical of <laughs> what I say. But that, yeah, I've actually been able to let some of those barriers go. Mm. I'm a three. <laughs> well, my type is a three. Um, so I have, a, you know, I, have a basic, I have a basic fear of not having value. I have a basic fear of, of, of um, uh, unworthiness, you know, I'm uh, probably the vice president of the not good enough club at times. Um, and, and so what I do at times in, to compensate that is I over effort or over perform or over achieve or, or, or posture or do things to try and um, get value or worth from others. You know? um, and uh, what, the work, what the work this weekend gave me was uh, 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 remembering that I can actually just be exactly how I am and that that is more than enough and that people actually move towards me and I, I get I experience greater intimacy and greater connection when I am just that authentic you know and it seems that when I'm you know very vulnerable authentic and go to the place it feels unsafe uh, is where I seem to experience the most love and connection with people and the most sort of ground and, and sense of um, 
aliveness? Yeah. Um, I just, I think it's really created a sense of community and for me, belonging. Um, I, yeah, I feel like I'll come away with a really good group of people that I can share and continue to reflect and to work on my true self. I think what's, what's probably required of people to do this course is just to, to bring it all, like to bring exactly what's happening in their life. You know, I, I found that um, the more I could just show up and be real and speak the unspeakable and say the things that I would probably may have been unpalatable or the things I don't really want to share, you know, that are things that I felt that it's like you know, I should keep as a secret or no one else would be dealing with this or it's too terrible or shameful to bring out. That was actually the material that was, you know, that was required to really have the sense of coming back home and feeling fulfilled again and feeling like, yeah, I want to go out in the world and, and do great things again.